Hello everyone, thanks for watching today's video. Today I'm going to talk about a condition called gestational diabetes or diabetes that can happen in some pregnancies and expecting mothers. So what happens in gestational diabetes? The blood sugar is very high in pregnant ladies. Usually happens after the third month of pregnancy. It improves after the pregnancy has ended and the baby is born. The reason it happens during pregnancy is because the demands of insulin during pregnancy are higher because obviously the mother is providing not just for herself but also her body is providing for a growing baby. And when the body can't meet those demands, which is the pancreas can't produce enough insulin to meet the demands of the high blood sugar, then obviously it cannot control high blood sugar. If you're not sure what diabetes is, then please watch my link below. So which ladies are at high risk of developing diabetes during their pregnancy? The ones who were overweight before they became pregnant, the ones who previously had large babies in excess of 10 pounds or 4.5 kilograms, who previously had gestational diabetes during their previous pregnancies, who come from Southeast Asian background or Middle Eastern background, or African Caribbean background, they are at a high risk as compared to Caucasian background. They have a family history of diabetes, especially close family members like parents or brothers or sisters. If they have diabetes, even normal diabetes, then they are at a high risk of developing diabetes during the pregnancy. So what are the usual symptoms of diabetes in pregnancy? In most patients, it's usually picked up incidentally because the blood test is done to check for blood sugar in the third month or after and the blood sugar comes up very high. The usual symptoms of diabetes like thirst, hunger, peeing too much or being very tired are very common in pregnancy anyway. So they might still be present without diabetes and might be present during diabetes as well. So what can go wrong for the mother or the baby either during pregnancy or after the pregnancy has ended? if they have developed gestational diabetes during pregnancy. Now with the current treatment that is available and also the monitoring that is available that picking up diabetes early during pregnancy and keeping a close eye on it and treating the mother and the baby quite quickly if any complications happen or complications are expected, most deliveries or most pregnancies in patients with gestational diabetes will proceed normally and will end normally. However, in a percent of patients, as the babies are quite large in most of these patients, complications of pregnancy can happen that obstructed labor or they have to induce the pregnancy a bit early or there are high chance of having cesarean section as compared to a normal delivery. Premature labor can happen because of the pregnancy is very large, the baby is very large and also there is excess amount of fluid around the baby, which is the amniotic fluid in the womb. If it's very excess, then the premature labor can be induced. Preeclampsia is a condition which is more common in which the blood pressure of the mother is very high and it might need controlling or might need very close monitoring. Complications can also happen in the baby once the baby is born that the blood sugar suddenly falls and their blood sugar is very low and they can get complications from it. They are also at a high risk of jaundice. So when the baby is born, usually a very close monitoring is done by the pediatric team to look after the well-being of the baby. Luckily, the risk of stillbirth is very low because of all the monitoring and the facilities which are available in this time and age to look after these vulnerable babies and also the vulnerable mothers. So what is the treatment for gestational diabetes? The first and foremost, most important thing is close monitoring of the well-being of both mother and the unborn baby. And soon after the pregnancy is finished, they also require closer monitoring than normal pregnancies. Good diet, balanced diet for the mum is very important. Exercise, regular exercise for the mother is very important. Many of these patients will require treatment like tablets, like metformin, and some of them will also require insulin if they are getting side effects from metformin or if their insulin levels are too low to be controlled just by tablets. I hope this video gave you some insight into gestational diabetes or diabetes of pregnancy. 
If you did like this video, then please give us a thumbs up and please remember to subscribe. Thank you for watching.